Use the following diagram to illustrate the effect of a decrease in proportional income tax on the equilibrium level of income in the simple Keynesian model of a closed economy. Now, we'll come back to this again, but we have all the guidelines of what we have to do in the question. Show the effect of a decrease in proportional income tax. Use a simple Keynesian model of a closed economy. Why is that important? Yes, we can show the, the, the effect of taxes in an open economy. We could have used the ADA's model. Even though we could have done it correctly in the ADA's model, that's not what's being asked. So it's important that one follows the guidelines that are part of the question. Use the following uh, diagram to illustrate. So we must draw something. They even give us a hint here and say, remember to label your diagram. Because if you label your diagram correctly, if you identify the di diagram correctly, then the rest will just follow. It's sort of a, a tick that you have to make and say, okay, but yes, are we working with the Keynesian model? Aggregate spending and income on the horizontal axis. We have the 45 degree line indicating all the points where spending is equal to income. The aggregate spending function, A, autonomous A on the vertical axis, and the equilibrium level of income. This is where we start, the initial equilibrium position. Now, show the effect of a decrease in proportional income. Now, before we, before we show the effect, let's just take a breather for a moment. Show the effect of a decrease in proportional income tax. If we pay less taxes, we have our income, our disposable income increases. Therefore, we can spend more. So, a decrease in taxes leads to an increase in disposable income, leads to an increase in spending. And if we spend more, there will be an increase in income. So, our spending more will lead to an increase in the equilibrium level of income. What we have to draw should not differ from what we've just said. Disposable income increases because of the decrease in tax, therefore we spend more. Spending increases. But we're working with the proportional income tax, income tax, so the autonomous part of spending is not affected, so it's only though the induced part of spending that is affected, and it swivel upwards. The increase in spending works through the economy and it leads to a new, higher equilibrium level of income. So this is the answer. You can also test whether you work correctly. Illustrate the effect of a decrease in proportional income tax in the simple Keynesian model. We're working with the Keynesian model. A decrease in tax leads to an increase in spending. Yes, we are correct. Importantly, show the effect on equilibrium level of income. So we shouldn't stop here. We need to show the effect on income as well.